Hello everyone, my name is Xiao Jing. The modeling I'm going to talk about today is Phoenix International Media Center, which is located in the southwest corner of Chaoyang Park in Beijing, China. This building is an exemplary case of mobile strip, which is defined as a surface with only one side and only one boundary. It has a mathematical property of being non-arrangeable. We can consider the crossfire of the building as an ellipse. The skins are consisted of double-layer grid structures, thicker in the outside and thinner inside. Next, I'm going to work on the modeling process. Now I'm going to work on the building mass. The first step is to create a circle and set up the trace for the elliptical section surfaces. I use the perp frame to generate 40 equally spaced perpendicular frames along the curve. Next I will use the pi range and rotate tools. To arrange the ellipses along the curve gradually, rotating them with different angles as well. And then in next step, I will use the list items and rotate, merge the ellipses, merge the 40 ellipses. And finally, just to use the loft tool to bake, we can get the mass of the building. Let's preview, preview off all these lines so we can see clearly of the mass. I'm going to work on the building skin. We can use the divide curve on every ellipse and we will get equally arranged points on them. Then we need to use the shift list and flip matrix to offset those points for outer skin. We will do the same thing for the inner skin, just to remember to refine the expression for the shift list here. We need to change the expression to negative x in order to change the directions. Finally, we need to use the interpolate and the pipe tools to generate the thickness for the skins. After baking, the model will look like this. As you can see here, this is outer skin and this is inner skin, which is thinner. And inside is the surface of the mass. We can see from different views here more detail about the model. For the parametric design, I used the kangaroo in grasshopper to mimic a fabric hang in the middle of the building, which is kind of interesting here. For the analysis part, first I did a quick curvature analysis in Rhino. The red part shows the curves I twisted the most. Similarly, I used the grasshopper to finish the curvature analysis. I used the service curvature bounds deconstruct domain gradient to realize the purpose. As you can see here, the red part still refers to the points which are twisted the most. Back to right now, I did a quick zebra analysis. It is, uh, you can show the smoothness of the building surfaces very quick and objective. So this is the general modeling um, process of my project one. Phoenix International Media Center. Thank you.